Hey guys, Jacqueline here, and welcome to part 11 and a half of how to make a 2D RPG in Unity. This video is dedicated to fixing a bug that was brought to my attention by Dart Echo. Thank you so much for catching that one for me. First, let's take a look at the behavior that's happening. So what we expect that we should see when we start the game is that all of the tiles that we drew into the interactable map will get set to interactable tiles. We also expect that any areas that we did not define as interactable will not be set as an interactable area. So let's change the alpha value on our interactable tile and hit play to see what happens. So if I switch back to scene view, you can see that every tile on the interactable map gets set to be an interactable tile, not just the ones that we drew on. This is not the correct behavior. We don't want undefined areas to become interactable. So this behavior tells me that something's going wrong when we're setting the tiles to be interactable tiles in the start function of the tile manager. So let's go ahead and open our tile manager and take a look to see what's happening. The first thing that we should do is read our code and see what we're telling the computer to do. Computers follow instructions exactly as they're written, so I made a mistake when I wrote it before. The code says, for every position within the bounds of the tile map, set the tile to be an interactable tile. I'm accidentally telling the computer to replace every tile in the tile map with an interactable tile. So what am I forgetting here? Let's take a minute to pause the video and see if you can figure out how to solve this error. When you're done, hit play and we can go through it together. What we expect to happen is that only the defined interactable areas are going to be set to interactable tiles. In order to get this behavior, we will need to check if the tile that we're on in the loop is an interactable visible tile. And if it is, then we should set that tile to be an interactable tile. But if it's not, we should ignore it and keep going. So to begin, let's create a reference to the tile that we're currently looking at in the for loop. Let's create a local tile base variable named tile and use the get tile method through the tile map to get the tile at the position we're on. Then we can use an if statement to check if the tile's not null and if the tile is named interactable underscore visible. So if both of these things are true, then we can set the tile to be the interactable tile. Let's cut and paste the set tile function call that we had written previously into the body of the if statement. So if the tile is null or its name is not interactable underscore visible, then we don't really need to do anything and we can skip it. So let's go ahead and save our script and head back to Unity. Now we can hit play and check to see if our predefined areas are the only ones being set to an interactable tile. And yep, it looks like it's working. All of the tiles that we defined in our interactable map are being set to interactable, and all of the ones that we left empty are still empty. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please support me on Patreon so I can keep making these videos and get them out to you sooner. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, please feel free to join. It's a great place to chat with other developers, ask questions, and even make suggestions about content you want to see in this series. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.